What's up guys? So I'm back over here in Skull Hill Archery with uh, Brandon and today I'm actually going to be trying a few different releases. I'm switching from a um, traditional wrist release to a uh, thumb release. Hey, thanks for checking out another Swamp and Stomp video. If you stay tuned to the end of this one, you can actually see who won the bow giveaway for this past uh, quarter's giveaway. Um, also, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell no notification so that you can see whenever we put new videos out. Uh, I'll let you guys, guys get back to this video. And Brandon has a couple releases for me to try. Um, what can I expect as far as uh, changes to the bow or um, changes to my anchor point. I've been looking all over YouTube and this. Well, typically what you're going to end up doing is most people anchor either using their thumb or their their index knuckle right in here. Yeah. And um, when they do that, you end up bringing yourself back further on the bow. And when you use a hand release, you're going to end up not more or less changing your anchor points. You're going to go a little lower. And then what's going to happen is, is you're going to bring that D loop closer to you. So what's going to happen is, is that bow is going to feel shorter. So you're only going to end up going longer, roughly, oh. you know, more than likely about a half inch longer. Some cases an inch, just depending on where you anchor. But it really, like I said before on your past videos and stuff, it's all custom to the archer. Right. So if you anchor up under here and not all the way behind your jaw, then you, you probably wouldn't need to change. Right. But if you anchor behind your jawbone, you know, because right here is a very solid. Um, little corner. Anchor. You know, that, that 90 in your jawbone really fits nice within the webbing of your two knuckles. So going in there like that, right there, and then being able to bring your nose down to the string without having to fight it, you know, that's a, that's your second, which normally takes your peep and move it up, you know, about an inch, okay. and also takes your draw length to make it. So it's just more or less fitting to you, but this, these are the way to go when it comes to execution. You know, a lot of, um, between just the, uh, the, the thumb button itself or, mm -hmm. or a back tension or hinge, but that execution process makes it a lot cleaner, less punch. So nice, I'm pretty yeah. excited for that. Also, um, Brandon has all kinds of pro tips. He actually gave me a tip on the glasses. So I've been struggling with um, being able to shoot with my glasses on because the bridge was really thick, and I ended up went I went out and got me some frameless glasses. So <laughs> this is actually going to be my first time shooting with these on. Um, I've been playing with them a little bit and kind of lining it up, but I haven't wanted to uh, shoot my wrist release so that I can kind of start kind of fresh for the thumb release. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the um, Spot Hog Wise Guy. This is a wrist release that I've been using. So we'll try this guy first. I think another thing that I'm gonna be doing is changing arrows because since we extended my draw length, you'll see when I draw up, it gets a little a little sketchy if I decide to use um, fixed blades or anything like that. Yes, sir. Might, might be a little tricky there. So I'm just going to shoot this one so you guys can see where my anchor points is and how it changes. Kind of point that out. See where he's anchoring here with his knuckle, thumb on the base, tip of the nose. So this is the true fire. The True Fire Sin Jesus Sin is PS Cinnamon Cinema. I'm not sure you say that. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
little too close to this camera. I like that. So I'm ditching the glasses. Too many first times going on right now. I'm gonna shoot that one one more time. I sure would. Once you get to that comfort though, you can set the boat where it fits you a little bit better and then boom. Yeah, yeah I can see what you mean where it does feel short. Um, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm collapsing this arm a little bit. Because um, now that knee loop is actually further back on your face. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I feel like uh, I don't want to part scattered everywhere situation. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, it wouldn't be so much of that as that you just have irregular shot patterns. Like you would just have a very broad shot pattern because you're exploding forward. Right. So. That's good. There you go. Yep. I think the, um, the part that I'm really gonna have to get used to is trying to draw up with it like that, so that so when I'm in full draw, I don't have to swing around. What's happening is you see how deep you've got your hands in it. Uh -huh. You want to keep it right in here. You want to keep it within this run of your fingers. Oh, really? Yep. But that comes in time. I started off full fisting it, and then realizing it's not going anywhere. Let it ride, and then I would put it on those, and then I would bury. I would bury first. I would pull back and punch into my uh, jawbone. Then I would let those two fingers ride the bottom of my jawline, and then, yeah. then I would roll my finger in and pull through. My only, my only worry with that, with this big ass peg, I'd, I'd probably trim down the peg if I was going to use this one and bring this guy down a little bit, just because yeah, I feel like it's such a reach right. over. I'd be afraid in um, so even the moment I'm going to try the black one, and you'll see there. it probably feels a little bit. Better. All right, so that's the P, the um, True Fire. Next runner up is a B3 Exit. E3 exit. Feels really good. The brake feels really clean, pretty sensitive. Um, it's actually a lot lighter than the uh, True Fire. The True Fire has significantly more adjustments on it that you can do. Um, you can move your peg forward or backwards, you can take it off altogether, and you can adjust the actual height of the peg itself on the V3 exit. You can spin the, um, the thumb peg up or down. 
um, and I think you can also adjust the uh, weight uh, where it breaks. So now I'm shooting the Fletcher um, Precision Pro. Right off the bat, it feels very different in my hand in comparison to the B3 Exit and the uh, True Fire because it's shaped significantly different. Um, it also has a, I guess, clamp style uh, connection here. You guys can see that. And there's a button here in the back to close it. Um, it's pretty hard to push as well. And when you shoot, it's kind of loud. I'm not sure that uh, I'm really a fan of that for hunting. Let's see how it shoots. I get rid of the string as well. Can't get my thumb around my to my index finger like I could with the other two. I think I'm in between the B3 and the True Fire. All right, so now I actually ended up going with the uh, True Fire. Uh, is there any other extra names on this? Synapse. The True Fire Synapse. Um, this is the release that I'm going to go with, and now we are actually adjusting the release to myself. This has a couple different adjustments. I'm going to let Brandon uh, talk about those. Yep. So there's a couple just just settings in itself between the tension and the travel. Um, the, the tension or sensitivity will give you the ability to make it to where it's really cold or very hard to press the button or very hot where it's very light where you just touch it and it fires. And then the travel is how far it takes you to pull the thumb button back until it releases. So we're going to kind of set those things for him. Also, it has a little bit of change with where you want the thumb button. You can unscrew the thumb button up or down or you can move it forward or back. So we're just going to try to make this fit like a glove for Danny. Sweet. So go ahead and grab it first. Go ahead and grab our fake rig here, Steve mm -hmm. Lupon. Anytime you play with a release, it's safe to use something other than your bow because, you know, it, you just don't want to have accidents. <laughs> All right, so mimic the same process, lock in and everything. All right, so now you're going to fire, you're going to pull that thumb around. So if we don't want to rotate that far, we're going to take and sync the button back some so you don't have to rotate that hard to get a thumb around. So okay. let's do that first, and uh, we'll go from there. When you were shooting it, did the, did the sensitivity feel fine? Like, did it take long to execute it, or no. when you were ready, did it go? Uh, as a novice, not really ever shooting those, I, mm -hmm. I feel like it went off pretty quickly. Cool. So, and that's the thing, is like, being that you're novice, I don't want to put it so hot that you, you know, ooh, you know, it goes. At the same time, I don't want it so cold that you create a pattern of, of, of let's say, inconsistency. You, or you aim, floating off yeah, my, my point. Aiming so hard, so hard, so long, so long, so long, and it just never goes, being too cold, yeah. and then you come off your shot, or you force it to happen. I'm trying to find a happy medium that fits for you. Okay. And, that, and that's, once you get to that point, you feel comfortable with it, then you'll start playing with it to fit more of what you really like. That's the whole joy of archery, is that making that fit you. I can get you really close, but only you can really make it 100%. Yeah, so I feel like if we if we go on the safer side, where I'm not flinging over neighbors, just flinging arrows to my neighbor's yard. Yeah, <laughs> cool, cool. So what we're doing now is uh, adjusting the uh, draw length a little bit out to make up for the further back D-loop. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm digging it, man. Beautiful. I like that. Yes, sir. I think uh, I think I got this figured out. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> you got it. Cool. All right. So, do we get a drum roll? All right. We're picking one winner. Oh yeah, the Go. countdown. I forgot. There's a countdown. <laughs> I forget about that every time.
This is only our second time using this app. It's uh, pretty cool. It does all the work for us. Here it comes. Here it comes. Reese. Reese. R. In Orlando, Florida. Oh, Reese. Do we know Reese? Let's uh, let's click on it and let's find out. Let's give Reese a call. We'll put on speaker. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> How funny. What's up, man? What's up, dude? It's uh. Oh, just checking out at Walmart. You know? Do you know who this is? Do you have my number saved? Yes, Mark. What's up, man? What's up, dude? <laughs> Hey, uh, did you, did, did you, did you maybe enter to win a bow on our, uh, you did? Yeah, well, you won. Shut up. <laughs> I'm serious, you won. No, no, we're live on, uh, we're, we're recording this, by the way. We're recording this, by the way. You're recording this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Mark Softenstein. Shut up. That's crazy. Yeah, you won, man. No, told me. No, told me. I know. <laughs> That's awesome. How many people are there? 630 people. 630 people. Yeah. That is a blessing. I was just. I don't. I don't know how many entries you you ended up getting. I can. I can check. I'm curious. I have no. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm curious. I uh, only had one. You just did the one. Oh, I entered and she entered. I think, dude. I think. Well, it's me I one. think. I think this is her entry because it's her phone number that's on there. Is her phone number? Isn't this her phone number? No, this is mine. Oh, oh, that's weird. I have it saved. I have it saved in my phone as her number. As her? Yeah. Wait. And now, now I'm curious how many entries you had. You had three entries. So yeah, you're a lucky. You're lucky as hell. Cause there's a lot of people had like, you know, forty to a hundred twenty entries. So. Yeah, that's crazy, you guys dude. wondering who uh, this is? Man. This yeah. is actually Reese from Bearded I'm Outdoors. I'm trying to sit here and enjoy it, but it's so hard. Wait, hold on. Oh, we're we're giving sure. you a shout out right now. So, All right. so this guy that won, like he said, we met him at the Florida Outdoor Expo, and he runs the company Bearded Outdoors. Um, so he uses products, awesome stuff. Yeah, it's it's awesome and. Yeah, super happy that you won, honestly. Like, great guy, great yeah. company. So go check them out. Uh, we'll put a little link down in the description. So anyway, um, we'll call you back in a minute. Uh, we're going to wrap up right. this video, okay? 10-4. All right, later, man. All right, bro. All right, see ya. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you um, if you're not subscribed already, and hit that bell notification so that you know whenever we're putting out uh, more videos and stuff in the future. Um, if you wanna watch the whole video of the giveaway, uh, click the link somewhere up here or we'll have something down in the description so that you can watch the whole giveaway video. We do every, all these giveaways live so you know we're not messing around or anything like that. Um, and I think that's about it. Thanks for watching and peace.